Here I'm going to show you how to connect the cooktop. So basically, make sure that you have the right hole, I mean the right size, the right dimensions, otherwise you will have to cut the countertop a little bit, but that is easy. Make sure that you have the electrical box already in, in place. And this is a new installation, as you can see, it should be very easy. So now I'm going to hook up the wire that you see hanging over there, and I'll show you step by step. All right, so once you put it in place, very easy. You can put some silicone underneath or not. Before we do anything else, so I'm going to show you that you have to connect, the, put the connector inside of the electrical box. And once you do that, you're going to be able to run the wire inside. Otherwise, it, it can get damaged uh, the wire. Also, if it gets uh, loose, uh, you know, is someone can get shocked. So you have to put the nut inside. I'm going to show you uh, closely in another class that I made. So that way, you know how everything is. Also, the um, uh, metal box that you see here, it needs to be grounded as well. Do you have a metal box uh, like this, an electrical uh, metal box, and you want to ground it? and you don't know how to, I'm going to show you step by step how you can do this. So now let's change the camera so that way you can understand everything that I'm saying and I'm going to show you how you can do it step by step. So as you can see here, we have a metal box. Uh, usually a metal box, you're going to find them more frequently in a commercial environments. Or if you're in residential, you're going to see the plastic uh, box. So the plastic box, you don't have to ground it, that, that is fine. But if you have a metal one, let's say you are hanging a ceiling fan, or maybe uh, you are putting this in a, in a basement, you will see that we have a few holes uh, here. So the holes that you see here. So you, if you put like a long screw here, you can mount it here and you can mount almost anything here. <laughs> you can hang from this a box and this is not going anywhere. So it's going to hold like a lot of weight. So al always uh, see the rating of the, of the box. It will tell you, you know, how much weight it can hold. So now, uh, as you can see, here we have the, the connector. So once you have the connector here, hopefully you have this already, but if you're installing this for the first time, I'm going to show you. So as you can see, here is where you put the, the cable. So you put the, the cable uh, where you want it to be. So let's say uh, like that, and then you secure it. Because if you are uh, removing this uh, knockout that you see here, but you put the cable and you don't put anything else, uh, the sharpness of the metal will uh, you know, cut the, the wire. Also, another uh, problem that you're going to have is the, the cable is not going to be secure. If someone is pulling the, the wire, you know, it's going to be dangerous because you're going to have the live and the neutral here, and the things can get disconnected if you're, someone is pulling from the cable, so you don't, you never know. So that is why you have to secure the, the cable all the time. So basically, well, this is a demo, I have it here, and later I'm going to show you in, a, in my customer's a house, so that way you see how everything looks like in the, in the real world. But at least you know, here is secure, and now we are going to proceed with a, a, a ground of this, a grounding this, a, metal box. So basically basically, you can buy uh, these these connectors, these pigtails, they come like the way you see right now. You can cut it, you can make it a little bit shorter if you want to. So basically you have the the, the, the screw here and all you have to find is this, the, the place where you can put it in here. So in this, uh, uh, in this uh, case it's very good that you have this, you see it has a, it's, has a, a hole here, I mean it's hollow in this area so it's you have a gap between uh, this and, and this. So that way, if you put the, the screw, the advantage that you're going to have is that it's not going uh, through the other side. So if you're going to mount this in a, in a, fl in a, a flush uh, place, you know, like, a, like I said if before, maybe you, you put it in, in, a, in a beam or anything like that. So as you can see, it's almost a uh, flush, so nothing is protruding here. So that is why it's the way uh, you see it uh, right now. So another uh, thing that you have to uh, do, once you have done this, you put the, the screw, you are set and now to, uh, you are ready to connect any uh, light fixtures, ceiling fan or anything like that. As you can see, we have not here. Now we have to run the wire through the connector that we have there. All 
right now that is firm and tight it's not going anywhere now we got one is the walnuts also you make sure that you have no power here Now we're going to strip the, the wires. All right, so as you can see here, uh, this is very easy. Just red with red, green with green or bare copper. And then you have the gray one or black one goes with black. So in this case, the color is gray, the one that should be a black, as you can see. And very easy, just black with black. And that's it. Make sure that you tie them up very, very good with this type of walnuts. You're going to need the, the big ones because the little ones, is not going, they're not going to make it. You have different uh, type of sizes of walnuts, so make sure that you use the, the one is fits the, the best. And then, as you can see here, in this case, at least with uh, these appliances, I, I didn't have any uh, neutrals. The neutral is the white one. So now I'm going to connect here, as you can see, the grand one, but in, if you have the case, like in this case, you don't have a, a, a neutral. So just put the walnut in the end, as you can see uh, right now, and that's it, very simple. And uh, usually in the newest uh, appliances, you're going to have uh, four wires in the old ones, uh, usually E3, and that's it. And then after that, push them in inside of the electrical box, and you should be good. So that that's it. Uh, Th that is all you have to do for these type of shops. Make sure that everything is tight and firm, so that way you're not going to have any issue. Otherwise, if you pull the the wires and they come loose, or they they are not you know tight, tight they are not tight enough, you're going to have issues. Uh, they, this can catch on fire <laughs> very easily, and also you have a lot of uh, consumption here. So here I'm removing the uh, screw, so that way is easier. Uh, to put it back and uh, that's it so now you put the um, you use the, the screw the, the screwdriver or the impact driver and that's it all right as you can see i put the, all the screws back we have the connector over that area and everything should be good now so basically if you have the right cuts and everything we should be good you know, i forgot to mention is if you buy one of these uh, clamps like pipe uh, clamps, you can secure the, the slack of the wire in place. So that way, you know, when you use the um, cabinet, you're not going to have these, you know, hanging everywhere.